Hi guys, hope everyone's good. Happy New Year to you all. Uh, first video in God knows how many fucking months. I decided to do a Bruce Wayne and disappear for a while, but it was doing my head in. So I wanted to get back in the game. So, first video for you all. <sighs> I bought this bad boy. Dark Knight Ultimate Collector's Edition. Oh yeah. Well it actually came out several months ago but uh, I had to save my money a little bit. So I waited until after Christmas and then I bought it. I mean, it's technically unboxed even though I've already opened it. I still want to be fannying about, you know, taking stuff off and pissing about. So I'll just show you what it is from the outside and then we can just get into it. I say outside with this, it's got one of these crappy cardboard covers. Uh, I've kept it, but like I say, they're crap. You know, be careful when you get one. Be careful because it's that gluey stuff. So be careful not to rip your box. Just take your time, peel it off. It's stuck there, there, and on the bottom too. So be careful with it. So yeah, that's the front side. Pretty basic. Other side basic. Back contents, of course, of course. Got a bit. Box Mondo Art. Mmm, swish. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, that's the little book that the discs come in. You get a book with just some behind the scenes pictures and pictures from the movies. ETC. Uh, and you get the bat, the bat pod, and the tumbler. So, let's whip it open. Oh yeah, of course, before we do that. Your special features. It doesn't tell you everything on the back. Obviously, uh, the movie discs are all the same. Uh, the special features discs are all the same. So, if you've already got them, they're all the same. But the last disc is what's got the new stuff on. And that is basically... Uh, it says over 90 minutes of new special features, so that's what you get, 90 minutes of new stuff. Now I've only watched the first thing, which is The Fire Rises, the creation and impact of the Dark Knight trilogy. Never before seen footage, rare moments and exclusive interviews with the masterminds behind the Dark Knight trilogy and other industry giants including Zack Snyder, Oh god, I can't say this guy's name. Gul Gulmero del Toro. If I said that wrong, I'd do a poo. Uh, Michael Mann and Damon Lind Lindelof. So anyway, I've only watched that one. I'll go into details in a minute. And then the other new thing is a discussion. It's Christopher Nolan and Richard Donner. If you don't know Richard Donner, he directed Superman the movie. Still one of the best superhero movies ever made, in my opinion. Uh it's just basically them two talking. Like I say, I've not watched that one yet, but I've heard it's good. Uh, so yeah, I need to watch that. That, it says here, like I say, 90 minutes of new stuff. Now, the Fire Rises documentary is about an hour and ten. So, I'm guessing the Christopher Nolan and Richard Donner thing is about 20 minutes long. So that's roughly what you're looking at. So there you go. Right, let's whip it open. Get rid of this bastard thing. Okay, front slips off just like that, see through, bat, hmm. okay, a letter from Christopher Nolan, now I want to get this framed, uh, I'm not going to unroll it because it's a ball ache to roll back up, uh, but it's just basically him saying how, you know, he's looking back at the years and he went into Warner Brothers and with his idea and blah blah blah. So yeah, it's good. I want to get that framed. A lot of people complain that there's foam pads in the box. I don't get why. There's a big deal, but people complain about it, but oh god, they smell nice. Ha! Huh. Right. <clears throat> There's your vehicles. I've not opened them yet. I've not made my mind up whether to open them, but I've not got no space in my room to display them yet, so I've left them packaged up for now. But, yeah, rough idea how big they are. Uh, you look good. 
The back comes with a little stand, so it looks like it's flying when you've got it on display. Why is the back pod gold? I do not know. Please answer me that question, I don't know. But yeah, there's your vehicles. Uh, ultraviolet copies of all three, but I've got them already on the iPad, so moving on. Right, inside the box, it's got one of these little pulley ribbon things. Give it a pull, and now everything else pops. And it's just the empty box. Hmm. Right, bit of black card, I can do that. Okay, this is the book with all the pictures in. Nice picture of Batman on the front. And the bat signal on the back. Uh, and I don't want to spoil it, you know, because there might be pictures in there that you want to wait until you've bought it for yourself. But you get a you know, general idea. There are pictures you've probably all seen before. They're nothing spoilerific. But yeah, it's a pretty basic, but it's cool. You know, some good pictures in there. Okay, a little black envelope with the bat emblem on. And this is the Mondo art. Whip it open. <clears throat> I think there's five of these. There we go. Raz al Ghul. And at the bottom it says, Men fear what they cannot see. That one's cool. Uh, stuck together. Bear with me. Scarecrow, there's nothing to fear but fear himself. Again, awesome. Uh, Two Face or Harvey Dent. See yourself become the villain. That is cool. I like that one. This is probably everyone's favourite. It's probably mine too, I guess. The Joker. Mm. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> and boom! Sometimes the pit sends something back. And the Bane one's interesting because obviously it's his head looking up. But if you look closely there, their hands, or they look like hands, you know, with the whole when he used to walk around like this. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's like a two-in-one picture, that. Pretty cool. Like I say, I want to get the Christopher Nolan letter framed. I want to get these framed. Because I think it's a bit of a waste just putting them in this. Bollocks. Putting them in this envelope. Uh, so yeah, I want to get them framed. Okay, last bit. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the book with all your discs in. It's a cool cover. Batman Begins, of course. Spine, and then the back's just you know the freedom about who directed it, blah blah blah. We all know who directed these bad boys. All right, <clears throat> open it up. There's your first page. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Batman begins disc one. Now, what they've done, which is pretty cool, is the disc. Connects with the picture, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Dark Knight. Harvey Harvey Dent. Mm -hmm. Dark Knight Rises. And the discs are pretty straightforward, the, especially Dark Knight Rises discs. They're just black. One of them says special features, the other one says movie, and that's pretty much, you know, it. There's no pictures or anything. And here we go. <clears throat> that's your bonus. That's your new thing, basically. That's got your Fire Rises documentary and the Richard Donner and Christopher Nolan discussion on. Uh, yeah, that's about it. But yeah, the... <clears throat> the Fire Rises documentary is probably, as far as I'm concerned, worth the purchase of this. 
all the other stuff. Yeah, the art's cool. I love the art. The vehicles, I'm not really too bothered about. I mean, you couldn't even get the back pod the right colour. Uh, but yeah, that documentary, if you really, really, really love this trilogy, then I say go for it. Uh, I mean, you all know me, I fucking love it. I've got God knows how many copies of the trilogy already. Uh, but anything new, I'll always get for it because I just love it. It's one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best trilogies of all time. And people will probably argue with that. I don't really give a fuck. It is one of the best trilogies ever made. All three of them are good, you know. Uh, but yeah, The Fire Rises, there's a lot of stuff even I didn't know about the trilogy that's in there. There's about five minutes about Heath Ledger's Joker, which is pretty cool. You see a couple of um, short, and I mean short, behind the scenes clips as one of Chris Nolan talking to Heath Ledger, but he's in makeup. You can't hear what they're saying, but you can just see them both collaborating with each other. It's just cool just to see him off camera, you know? Uh, and you see an alternate take Again, it's, it's short, but an alternate take of when he turns up at Bruce's penthouse. Uh, and it's, I'm sure when the movie was coming out and they were bringing trailers out for it, the way he says, um, you know, I'll settle for his loved ones. It sounds different, I remember in the trailer, and what you hear in the trailer is what you see in this alternate take. He comes in and he's like, I'll settle for his loved ones. So yeah, it's, you know, it's cool. It's good to see Heath you know, behind camera a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's really good. If you love the trilogy like I do, go and buy it. If you're not really bothered about seeing a few extra behind the scenes stuff, then it's probably not worth it. But I'll leave it up to yourselves. But I think it's a worthy purchase. It's good. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all I can say on it. So, there you go. Sorry this has been the first video in months. Any of my subscribers that have stuck around, thank you. You know, you didn't have to, but I love you for it. And I'll just try and get more videos out to you. Uh, and that's about it. So, everyone, take care.